Yeah. Well, oh, sorry about that. Welcome, folks. Today, I have been once again asked to help my friend with a school project. Today, we'll be working on. Today, we will be looking at ten positive ways to reduce stress and ten negative ways to reduce stress. Let us begin. As you can see, we're rushing right into this. Number. Let's go. Number ten. Watching uh, unhealthily watching hours of TV. Especially if your frame rate is as good as a potato. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, withdrawing yourself from friends and family. Just like my friend Starscream is doing over there. He's going through a lot. Uh, just uh, let's ignore him for now. Number eight. Number eight. Overeating or undereating because you're stressed. Me, Grimlock, so stressed. Hmm. Me, Grimlock, will eat this guy. Wait, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Grimlock. Grimlock, no. Grimlock, no. Undereating or not eating at all or weight loss. Huh. Me, Grimlock. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Me, Grimlock. If, if me, Grimlock can't eat that guy, and me, Grimlock, not gonna eat at all. Wait, Grimlock, come back. That's not what I meant. Number six. Drinking too much alcohol. Just like, as you can see, my friend Starscream has used this as a coping mechanism. Unfortunately, he is now incredibly drunk. I'm not drunk. You, you're drunk. I have no idea what you're talking about. The shockwave, you and your stupid cyclops. I, I gotta... But I'll be leader of the Decepticons one day. You'll see. Wow, it's sad that... Drunk Starscream sounds a little like actual Starscream. You shut your... Whatever comes out of that one eye of yours. And he's dead. Oh well. Um, number five. Smoking too much. Unfortunately, my friend Blowpipe has seemed to have taken up on this kind of... This kind of uh, stress management. As comedic as his name is. Hey, Shockwave. You, you shut up. I'm gonna... <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Unfortunately, his sight... Despite us being robots, we still have proper organs. So his cyber lungs are currently collapsing right now. <coughs> Shockwave. Shockwave. Hospital. Hospital. <coughs> I better deal with that. Give me a second. For violently lashing out at others. This should never be done. Especially when that's it, Shockwave! I'm so tired of you making everybody else look like an idiot. More importantly, making me look like an idiot. I like how your voice just started getting more accurate as you were ranting about that. Shut up! What are you gonna do with a gun to your head, Shockwave? Well, technically, it's a new array. What are you gonna do, Shockwave? Give me a second. You want to keep talking? Duh. Hey, maybe we can talk about this. Number three, taking unauthorized drugs. It's very dangerous to take drugs, so that's why Power Glide, my good friend Power Glide, has found an alternative. How? It's I, Power Glide. I found an alternative drug. It's called Life. It's the only drug I take. And what does Life stand for? The L stands for meth. The I stands for please help me, for I am in constant pain. What does F-E stand for? It stands for nothing. Please, I am in constant pain. Oh god, my life. <laughs> Number two, sleep. Way too much. Y'all, uh, you know what? It's not an example of this. Just try, it, he's not stressed. My poor little Dinobot just tuckered himself out. Good night, Grimlock. Have a good day. Last but not least, number one, ignoring the problem. Never ignore the problem. It will always catch up to you in the end. Hey, that's not true. I ignored my problem and it helped me greatly. I have way less stress than I usually do. Wait a minute, weren't you guarding the Dinobot cells? You know, 
the containment room of over at least a hundred different types of Dinobots, each very dangerous. Oh yeah, I was doing that, but it got too stressful for me, so I took a very long break, and now I'm not stressed anymore. I'm just ignoring it. Oh dear, no. Oh, what's that sound? That would have been the alerts that all the Dinobots have breaking out. We're gonna go on a brief break, folks, so uh, we'll be right back. <sighs> all right, that was hard. Nearly dying from Dinobots was very stressful, so now I'm going to show you positive ways to deal with stress. Hooray, let's go. Number 10. Getting a plenty of exercise. Make sure you exercise regularly, folks. Yeah, it really does well for my, for me. I'll push the camera a little bit. Yeah, uh, there we go. It does really well for me. I did plenty of exercise. Bone crusher, I'm just going to say this. Uh, might want to start exercising those arms a little bit. Looking a little flaccid. Uh, that's your point. I should probably start beefing my arms instead of my claw. Alright, now get me down, please. Okay, you asked for it. Wait, you know what? Number nine, just relax. You know, you know what, Shockwave, you're right. I should probably take a load off. What you watching? Apparently, it's supposed to be the very accurate story of Jesus Christ. Sure. Very accurate indeed. Number eight, deep breathing. Repeat after me. Get away from the camera, you idiot! Sorry, I thought I thought we were playing around. Number seven. Number seven. See what your friends are up to. Oh, Grimlock, what are you doing? Me, me, Grimlock, about to perform ancient Dinobot rain dance. Ahem. Come sword, come shield. Hey ah ho, hey ah he. Me, Grimlock, can't remember the dance. Oh dear. Not to worry, me Grimlock will use ancient Dinobot memory jogging dance. Ahem. Hey ah uh, he! Hey ah uh, ho! Me Grimlock can't remember memory jogging dance. Oh dear. Not to worry, me Grimlock will get rid of this irony of me not being able to remember dances by using the irony destroying dance. Well, do you remember this one? Of course, me Grimlock do. Unfortunately, only herbivore Dinobots can use dance like that. D damn this circular logic. Number six. Listen to some calming music. We'll cross the river. What the? Oh, dang it, someone must have messed with my... Dang it, how many times do I have to tell you guys not to mess with my remixes? Number five, help people. Help people with their problems. Well, or seek some help if you're the person having the problem. For example, my good friend Soundwave is really stressed. Soundwave, tell us what's wrong. Lord Meg, I need to find a way for no le more Megatron to notice me. After all, I mean, I do everything for him. I help, I strategize his battle plans. I get him Energon. I get him weapons. I clean up his weapons. I get him Energon. I strategize his battle. I pick up laser beaks droppings. I pick up buzzsaw droppings. I pick up Ravages droppings. I pick up all my Decepticons droppings. I pick up even after other Decepticons. I wash his dishes. I wash his dishes. I wash his dishes and well and what do I get for it I get to stay in as a stupid communications officer while Starscream this idiot who wants to kill Megatron gets to be second in command it's not fair what do I have that he do what does I have that I he do you understand okay clearly I was not made for this number four Think smarter, not harder. What is that supposed to mean? Well, for one, I noticed that, for example, always or try to find an easier and simpler solution. Don't always go for the hard solution just oh, right away. Sometimes so unsteady wins the race. I, even I found easy solutions. How? 
Well, I noticed that our good buddy Mixmaster was going through some stress with his construction work, so I gave him an experimental serum that should help him. Hey, uh, Shockwave, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, I don't feel so good. Oh, <laughs> uh, Shock, you, you tested it, right? Oh, dear. Run! Run! Abandon base! Abandon base! Number three. Number three. Except that some things can't change. I'll always be a scientist. Brunt will always be a god. Blowpipe, Blowpipe will always have his lung problems. Soundwave will never be recognized. Jeez, uh, I, I think you, you, I think this is supposed to be positive, not negative. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, Brunt, did we, have a, did we contain Mixmaster? Oh yeah, he's fine. Hopefully, I hope so. We'll have to we'll, ne we'll have to accept that Mixmaster will never be the same who he is. See, lot you have to accept that a lot of things will never change. Wait a minute, isn't the Mixmaster thing your fault? Number two, express your gratitude to whatever you're doing. Your job, your friends, your family. Just let them know that they're appreciated. Decepticons! Today is the day that we will destroy the Autobots once and for all. Lord Megatron, I just want to say that you are the greatest leader to ever exist in the Decepticon cause, and I, will I, would, rather, I would torture myself just to appease you. Okay, I don't know whether to be concerned or a little bit appreciated. Uh, thanks, I guess, Soundwave? Ugh, I gotta take a break. Funny you should mention it, because... Number one, the best stress reliever of them all is to just be yourself and be appreciative of everything you have. Remember that there are people in your life that are going to help you, and there are people who will always be with you. Even if you seem, even if it seems like you're gonna be alone, no one's ever truly alone. Even people who are actually alone, because they are never truly alone. We are, if as long as we don't fail, and, and, it's, and it's okay to fail sometimes. It's okay to lose hope in yourselves. It's okay to think of yourself as a terrible person. But the point is, you should always try to bounce back. And, well, enjoy the things you have. Because, who knows when they might go away. You know, I'm actually, my stress is actually a little gone now. Yes, my stress is a little gone too, Shockwave. Mine too. Hey guys, guess what, I'm back. The creature went away. See, everyone's happy. Except Starscream, and possibly Blowpipe, and I don't know about Bone Ah, uh, you get my point. This has been Shockwave, giving you another amazing school project. Shockwave, signing out.